Dear viewers, welcome to yet another episode of Expert Speaks. For this week, I have picked up a different topic, cyber crimes. The expert of the week is going to talk to you about how you can save yourself from the various internet frauds and cyber crimes with specific emphasis on how you can save yourself from the banking frauds as well. This is NRA Money Clinic and I am Dr. Chandra Khan, but your financial guide for a happy living. NRI Money Clinic, no hype, just the right advice. Dear viewers, I have brought to the studio today a very eminent, distinguished, highly qualified faculty member, Mr. Robinson De Souza. Mr. Robinson De Souza is a cyber security expert. He is the founder of Cyber Sapiens United LLP, a startup which is giving services to different companies in avoiding cyber attacks and cyber crimes related issues. His qualifications will include Masters in Information Security Management Systems, Certified Information Systems Auditor, Certified Ethical Hacker, Certified Cyber Law Professional, ISO Certified Professional, Payment Card Security Certified Professional. He has over 7 years of experience. He has trained over 5 lakh citizens in the cyber crime and cyber security related issues, how they can create safety from the internet frauds. He has also trained over 50,000 students and faculty members in cyber security and ethical hacking. His work experience include working for giants like Infosys and KPMG. He is also a trainer for the cyber shiksha program conducted by Microsoft and Data Security Council of India. He is a faculty development trainer for AICTE training and learning. Welcome to the show, Mr. Robinson De Souza. Thank you, Mr. Chandrakant, and I'm happy to be in your show. Robin, cyber security is a hot topic. Cyber crime is something which is discussed day in and day out. There is one or the other guy who gets affected, and we hear a lot about it. And people keep telling that you have to play very safe when you are uh, surfing on the internet. Is it a serious problem or is it just a hype? You are a cyber security expert. Can you tell me what is this? Uh, yes, it is It is definitely a serious problem. Cyber crimes are increasing day by day. And I think most of our viewers may have faced these uh, issues through some or the other way. And definitely it is something very, very serious and uh, something which needs to be discussed and uh, spoken to the people about these crimes that are happening. Okay. Uh, Mr. Robinson uh, De Souza, we hear a lot about people losing money yeah. because of these internet frauds. Yeah. If people lose, I understand they are negligent, ignorant, anything could be the thing. But you have the banks, you have got the apps. At their level, they are supposed to create a social say of the cyber security for this. Yes. Yeah. Is it a failure on the part of the apps or the banks or the uh, websites? to protect the customers or is it the problem is with the individual customers? Okay, uh, very good question and um, see this is something which is which, which people do not uh, understand. So this particular issue does not have anything directly connected with the banks or the application that you have just mentioned. It is basically on the human side. Oh. Okay. So these criminals, uh, they try to prefer to hack into the human brain, oh, okay. Then the technology, like the banks or the apps that you mentioned, right. So here, and it's the fun part, you know, to to hear. So most uh, most of the time, it is not the technology that is being targeted or that gets hacked, but it's the human brain uh, that these criminals target, and uh, you know they try to hack into your accounts or your money and so on by basically hacking into your brain. So this method, there is a method you know or uh, an attack uh, and this attack or method in our terms is called as social engineering and this is something which I think everyone should be aware of. We have heard about cyber crimes, internet frauds, this uh, social engineering is, appears to be a slightly a new subject for me. Yeah. Can you explain what is this social engineering? We have not heard so much about social engineering. For the benefit of my audience, can you briefly explain what is social engineering? Definitely. To put it in very simple terms, 
social engineering refers to fooling people ah okay so we humans are highly vulnerable uh, to this trust factor okay we trust people blindly but that doesn't happen in physically if i walk to you and if i start asking you questions you may resist yourself in giving out a few answers you know like you would not give out your pin code or your password but same thing if if i am talking to someone over the cyber space maybe over the phone or message or whatsapp or email that would not be the case you know i would not resist myself i would basically believe that person or that particular email and i would tend to give the uh, response or share my details so this trust factors what we, we humans are vulnerable to makes it very easy for the criminals to perform the attack and make money it's a very easy thing mm. okay and it's very simple as i said it's basically matter of trust so we should not be trusting anyone or anything on the internet or on online so that is called as social engineering mm. okay and there are different types that are used but the basic thing is do not trust anyone or anything just blindly verify and then go ahead right. so this is social engineering which refers to fooling people right mr robin you gave us an interesting concept called social engineering attack on the brain making people believe creating a false trust yeah right now you are a cyber security expert you are an ethical hacker you have helped so many organizations and so many individuals you have saved them is it possible we can do a live demo of how it happens on the internet is or am i asking you too much no no definitely that is something we should be doing because people have to be aware of how it is done okay. so we can show a demonstration of how easy it is uh, to hack anyone's instagram account or their gmail account we can do a live demo okay. and we can demonstrate that to the viewers please please go ahead and show this demo and so that our audience will know uh, what to expect and how they have to uh, be very cautious while dealing via internet yeah so sure, let's get into the demonstration part now perfect 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 so for the demonstration purpose i have my colleague mr nawaz who is a master in his hacking skills and uh, he has developed this tool this is our in house tool uh, which will be used for the demonstration purpose uh, which is the hackers club uh, in this tool we have around 99 uh, templates of various popular social media sites and it's a template of the login page uh, which can be used to hack anyone's Uh, any of the social media accounts so these tools are also available on the internet uh, but you need some skills uh, to use this tool uh, let's go on the demonstration uh, for our demonstration purpose we'll be using instagram for now so if i want to hack anyone's instagram uh, we'll show how easy it is to grab their uh, credentials which is the password mainly and the username so we are uh, created a link so this is the link that has got created uh, we can change this link we can make it like uh, instagram 123 uh, or something like that similar uh, and we can send this link to anyone i can send it saying that uh, please like my photo or your instagram is been uh, someone is trying to hack your instagram uh, please log in uh, or something like that it could be any message and uh, with the link so when you click on the link it will show you the login page of instagram uh, but this is not real okay where people fail is they don't look at the url so instagram's url is inst inst g a g r a m dot com okay but people fail to look at the url um so every time you are giving any credentials or something the first thing that you need to be doing is verify the url okay now this web page looks real like a exact instagram login page right uh, but you've enter your credentials we are just entering some dummy credentials and the moment you click on login 
what is going to happen is it will take you to the original Instagram page. So, if you look at the URL now, this is the actual URL or this is the actual Instagram site. So, it has done nothing, but it has just taken you to the original site. But at the back end, let us take a look at the back end what has happened. So, the attacker or the criminal has actually found your login information. This is the username that was entered and this is the password that is entered. So, this we got at the back end and the at the front end what has happened is it has taken you back to the original site. So, what you would think maybe the Instagram is some has some issues or something you would actually enter the credentials again your original credentials will enter again and you will click on login and it will take you to your account. So, for your mind nothing has happened, but at the back end we have got your credentials. So, here we have basically try to fool your brain by making you enter your credentials on a website which is fake and uh, to ensure that you do not become victim of this attack always verify the URL. So, you know where exactly you are entering your credentials read the URL properly because small mistakes will be there like Instagram 0.com. So, the 0 would not be seen to the human eyes. This is where we make the mistake. This way you could be safe and this is a very small demonstration to show how social engineering attack works by fooling your brain. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Robinson, thank you for that demo. Uh, now, the question is finally how the audience gets benefited. So, how, what is the solution for my audience uh, not to succumb to this uh, social engineering related attack? What can they do for that? Okay. So, the solution what I see is basically education, awareness, everyone, all of the viewers who are watching us should be alert and should not be taking the cyberspace or the phone, the email, the messages, WhatsApp that you are using lightly. You have to be cautious every time. If you are getting a call, someone is trying to ask you the information, you are getting an SMS where you are asked to click on the link, uh, you are getting an email, you are getting an, a video call from an unknown person, you have to be cautious and being alert, being cautious is the only effective solution is what I have seen in, in my past experience. If you are not alert, if you are not serious about what we are doing on the phone, then it could definitely uh, empty our bank accounts, it could definitely compromise our uh, social media accounts and it would breach our data uh, on the public easily. Right. Uh, dear viewers, you could be watching this uh, program now and you would have been a victim of cyber crimes earlier or an attempt could have been made to hack your account. Please let us know what are the problems that you have faced with respect to cyber crimes. Leave your experience in the comment section below. Likewise, if you have a problem and you could not find an answer, you can write that in the comment section. In my future videos with Mr. Robinson De Souza, I will ask him the question that you have faced and try to get an answer from the expert himself. Do not hesitate if you have a problem with respect to cyber security related issues, leave your comments and we will pick it up in due course of time. Uh, Mr. Robin, you said that uh, everybody has to be alert on the internet. We understand that. Yeah. But can you give me some key points both for the businesses as well as for individuals which they have to follow or keep in mind so that their uh, internet accounts, banking or their transactions what they do on the internet remain safe and they will not become a victim of social engineering or any cyber crime for that matter. Yeah, sure. I will share a few key points uh, because if we start telling the measures there are a lot of them, but okay. let us focus on very uh, few and important things. Number one, two factor authentication. You use Gmail, you use social media, there should be the two-factor authentication turned on for your accounts. If two-factor authentication is not turned on, then I can easily or anyone you know or the attackers can easily grab your password. We have just shown how easy it is for me to grab your password and we can log into your accounts. It could be any accounts. But if you have two-factor authentication, it adds a, another layer of security wherein 
I would apart from the password, I would also need your OTP or the PIN that you would receive uh, in your phone. Without that, I would not be able to access your uh, accounts. So that is number one, turn on two factor authentication. Number two is before you make any payment right to anyone it could be verify the person okay do not make the payment without verifying the person this is another mistake that we do you might be purchasing something from the olx or uh, you know any of these sites or someone is calling you and asking you for the payment whatever it is before you make any payment make sure you verify who the person is and then you make the payment this is point number 2 Point number three, very important, do not click on any unknown links okay? or do not download applications apart from Play Store or App Store. These are the in for your phone. If you are using Android, uh, Play Store is the place from where you have to be downloading the apps. If you are using iPhone, App Store you have. right? right. If you download applications from apart from these two, then you would also be getting a malware installed along with the apps that you are downloading. Okay? It is very easy to embed a, a malware in any software or a link. You know, We can have another demonstration of this, how it is done. Maybe in a PDF, we would uh, embed a malware. You just open the PDF and your entire system is gone. It gets oh, crashed. Right. You know, I can steal your data. So that is very uh, simple. So, before clicking, before downloading, be aware. These are the three uh, points I would suggest for uh, common people. Talking about business, for the business, your data is very important. So, you could be an individual business or you could have a team. Whatever data that you are dealing with, make sure you have a real time backup of your data. Real time backup. Okay? You can use maybe Google Drive, you can use OneDrive, there are so many options because for, for a business, even for you, data is very important. right? If you lose your data, it is like losing your business. That is how the business is today. right? So, keep a backup of all your data so that you do not lose them and you can get them back again. That is point number one. Number two, have antivirus. Okay? Now, people may ask which antivirus, what antivirus. I would not comment on that. I would say any antivirus which is paid, hmm. okay, not free antivirus. Not the free antivirus. Yeah, any antivirus which is paid is safe for you, and uh, make sure that the scan is turned on. Many times we have seen in the companies they have the antivirus, but the scan is not turned on. What is the use of having an antivirus and the antivirus is not scanning? Right. Most right. probably, uh, they see the computer slowing yeah. and for a time being, they switch off the uh, antivirus yes. and they forget to uh, switch it on Yes. and this becomes a practice. Yes. Yes. Right? Yeah. So, uh, having an antivirus and uh, enabling the scan options maybe on a daily basis depending on the criticality of your business, you can keep the timing. And the third one and very important is when you give laptops to your employees, right? have some restrictions on that, maybe okay. download restrictions, right? Uh, do not give admin privileges where they can install something. Okay? We have seen employees using official laptop for their personal use, hmm. maybe for downloading games, movies and they do it from unauthorized websites hmm. like torrent and so on. And as I said, when you use this unauthorized places, you would also get a malware installed in it. Right. So, when you are giving a laptop to your employees, you have restrictions which is limited. They should not have an option for downloading softwares, installing softwares. It needs to be done by an admin only. Right. So, these three would help a business. The backup would help to recover. Antivirus will help to prevent and the employees laptop security which I said would also help a organization to prevent themselves from cyber attacks. Right. Well, these are fantastic points what you have said. By adhering to these uh, simple steps, you help yourself to create a safety for all your internet accounts which includes your bank, uh, banking, your personal data and the things that you do on the internet. Right. Yeah. Uh, dear uh, viewers, uh, Mr. Robinson de Souza is in the practice of giving protection to businesses and individuals when they face a cyber attack. 
If anybody would like to get his services, we will give his website address here on the screen. You can reach to him through his website. Mr. Robin, whenever our audience needs help, yeah. please do help them with whatever the help they are looking definitely, for. Definitely, definitely. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Mr. Robinson de Souza, it is a very vast subject, yeah. cyber security. Yes. It is an evolving subject, the hot topic. Uh, any number of videos we do, there is something new which keeps coming. Yes. I want your final comments for my audience to remain cyber safe. Sure. As you said, there are a lot of things, but I would like to conclude with just one, which is do not trust anyone or anything blindly on the internet. Be cautious of whatever you are doing. The phone, the laptop that you have, the internet is not what it actually looks like. Okay. At the back end, there is a different story and it is like a horror movie if you actually watch the back end of it. We deal with it daily. So, all I would say is be cautious, be alert, be safe, be secure. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Robinson, thank you very much for your time. I will request your time and presence multiple number of times. I have requested my audience to leave their experience or the problems that they face on the internet in the comment section. Kindly do help my audience with your expert uh, suggestions at periodical intervals of time. Yes. I remain in gratitude to you for your kindness to come here all the way. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Our uh, dear viewers, hope the video that I have done today helped you to understand what you can do to create a cyber safety practices in your day to day interaction on the internet. If it helped you to understand the finer points of creating safety, please like this video. If you are a person who is watching my channel for the first time or if you are yet to subscribe for the channel, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. Do not forget to share this video with your near and dear ones. Thank you very much for watching this episode on NRM and Clinic. I shall be back with you next Tuesday with yet another topic with yet another expert. Press the bell icon for more details and subscribe our channel.